All right, so I want to show you something cool I just kind of found out here. Uh, this is uh, thanks to a sixth grade student. Actually, I'm sorry, a seventh grade student. But let's go here to shapes, and we're going to do some circles. There's one, control C, control V. There's two, we'll get them in line. And then we're going to go back to the shapes and get our third circle here. Three. I guess I could have just uh, copy and pasted, but that's okay. So one, two, three circles. All right. Now I'm going to, just because I'm having fun, insert some word art. And I'm going to call this mouse. All right. And I want to center it, so I'm looking for that red line there. Now watch what happens. I'm going to go to File. Download as a Scalable Vector Graphics, SVG. The word scalable is key there. Scalable means we can probably relate it to 3D printing. So here's 3D printing. All right, I'm at the Import tab. I'm going to choose a file. In my Downloads folder, oh, I must have clicked off of it. Well, now I'm closing everything, sorry. I'm going to choose a file again. It's the demo SVG. Open. And of a height of 10 millimeters, I can change that later. So import. There's my mouse. So if you're wanting to insert word art uh, letters other than the big capital letters that you find in here, if you want to draw a shape in um, uh, your Google Drawing program because you're more comfortable with that and then import it, you may do so. Just notice that the line here, that's nowhere to be seen. So any any detail you put on top of these things um, is not going to show up. It's only going to give you the outline of your image. But outline or not, that's still pretty useful and pretty cool.